Hello, my name is Jamie and I'm going to show you how to give sub-Q fluids via the syringe method. Before I begin, I just wanted to remind everybody I'm not a licensed veterinarian and you should consult a licensed veterinarian before doing anything you're going to see in this video. Not only for legal reasons, but for your animal as well. So let's begin. Okay, firstly, I'm going to show you um, the bag of fluids that I use. I use a 0.9% sodium chloride injectable. Um, some of you might be thinking, why not lactated ringers? It's just what my vet says. You will notice this is also a full bag. So, um, I'm going to start by showing you my setup. I have uh, an organized container. Helps things go a lot smoother. First thing we're going to get, a uh, cotton ball, just in case there's any blood. Don't worry if there is, a little blood's natural. Secondly, we are going to get an IV catheter. Um, I use a thermal 19 gauge needle, three, uh, three fourths of an inch long, excuse me, to fill the actual syringes I'm going to use. I use a thermo 18 gauge one and a half inch needle. Um, I use the larger needle because it's easier to draw from the bottom of the bag. When it gets to about here, it's real hard to draw from. And um, of course, we're also going to need syringes. Um, the type of syringe you use, the brand is not really important. Um, depends. Depending on how much fluids and how much you want to use, um, you may get a different size syringe. I use a Nipro 60 milliliter syringe. Get that in there, there you go. Um, my cat Shadow gets 100 milliliters of fluid um, twice a week, every three days is when I do it. Makes it easy. So I use two syringes and I fill them to you know, 50, 55 a piece. So, let's get forward and I will show you how to fill the syringes. Okay, first we want to start out by we want to take our regular needle. This again is our 18 gauge, one and a half inch needle. Okay, we take it out of the trapper. You'll see how I hold it. It's very important. You do not want to touch the tip. It's sterile and you need to keep it that way. Uh, make sure you have all the water out of your syringe. Give it a little push if it doesn't. I use a Lurlock syringe and a um, accessible needle. So what I do is I stick it in there and I twist and get it on there. Now be very careful when you take the top off. And of course it doesn't want to get on there for me. This might be a little tricky. Okay, I don't know if this will work, but you see the needle, it's got a little bevel on it. You want the bevel to go up and into the bag. You'll see the needle go straight in, give it a pop, there you go, and slowly draw your fluid back. When you get to the second syringe, um, after filling the first one, notice that I went slightly after 50. This is for any air that might be trapped in. I give it a little squirt, and it gets all the air out. You notice there's no air in the syringe. Very important. You never want to inject air into your cat. It could cause fluid retention and various heart-lung problems. I stick the cap back on and I twist in the opposite direction. Notice I have not touched the end of this. I lay my syringe flat on my table, get my second syringe, and repeat. Let's get forward. Now that you have your syringes full, take your IV catheter and needle, open it up, take it out. You will see that it has the butterfly wing, so it's called the butterfly needle. It's got the actual needle, it's three-fourths of an inch long, it's not very large, 
very comfortable for your animal. It's got a little plastic tube that goes on top of it. The cord, injection site, and cap. Cap's very important because as of now, this needle is sterile. However, there's air inside of this, so we're going to want to take it out again. I just take my first syringe and then I just squeeze a little out. And then you'll notice, change colors because there's fluids in there. Hold the injection port up, syringe down, take it. And having been very careful not to touch the inside of this cap, I screw the cap back on. This is easier for when we put the needle inside the animal. This way, the fluid doesn't leak back out and create more air. And you really don't want to have the syringe onto this when you inject it. It's uncomfortable, you might slip, and you could really do some damage. Now all we need is our cat. Okay, everyone, this is Shadow. Um, he's going to be our patient today. Um, before we begin, I always like to have with me some treats. Um, recently, he's been switched to the raw diet. Um, I would highly suggest this. And um, as always, make sure you have a clean area to work with and a husband nearby to hold your camera. Alright, now that Shadow is going to get into his food, let's start eating. Okay, to start out with, take a little piece of skin, hold it up like a tent, double up, and in. Notice he didn't even make a noise. Take the cap, take it off, take your first syringe, slide it on there. The wood starts to go in, sometimes they will make a noise. Thankfully, he's not. He wants to say hi. Never been a movie star before, so bear with us. Um, a couple reasons why I like the syringe method more than the giving set. It's a lot faster, it's more precise, less stressful on your cat. Um, if your cat won't go for the food while giving the fluids, try baby food. Um, there's also restraint bags if you have to. But try, if at all possible, to not use restraint. I'm getting anxious. So we're going to skip forward in the video to when we take the needle out. Okay, we are almost done. Push the syringe all in. He's grumpy because he ran out of food. Take your cotton ball, hold it down, pull the needle out, okay, I keep my used needles in a sharps container, push it in there, don't forget about the needle from earlier. Put that in there too. Um, when you're done, you'll notice the cotton ball right here. Um, just keep it in place and wiggle it around a little bit. It stimulates the cells in his skin, helping it to close up faster. Um, you will see there's no blood. If there is no blood, um, it's natural, don't worry about it, you just nick the blood vessel. Um, it's not uncommon, it happens a lot, but um, just remember, contact your vet first, um, and say bye, Shadow. Thanks for viewing. Bye.